Sega. stuff like this. Shall give chase. Spread out and go after them. Slay them on sight. Ha. Let's go. Must we? She is the royal wizard, after all. The king's orders are absolute. Yes, Gawain. but without loyalty to the king, we are nothing. Still, the king. He has changed. And this kingdom... Why'd you stop me? I could have taken him down, no problem. You do not understand. He cannot be wounded. How can that be? He bears the scabbard of Excalibur. Hey, wait a second. 
I think I've heard that name before. Um, let me see. Excalibur is King Arthur's sword. Oh, yeah, right! So that means... This is the land ruled by King Arthur. Whoa! But was that really the king himself? I mean, he seemed way different in the stories. Let us go. We can talk along the way. Let me introduce myself. I am Merlina the Wizard. I'm Sonic! Sonic the Hedgehog! He was once a wise and just ruler. He was blessed with noble knights and praised by all. However... He got a little sidetracked? Yes. Nemu, the Lady of the Lake, gave him Excalibur. He was bewitched by the power of immortality its scabbard bestowed. He became immortal, summoning legions from the underworld. He is plunging his kingdom into a world of horror and chaos. You mean like a big old haunted house? <laughs> this will be cool! It'll be like Halloween all year long! Maybe so, but I fear there will be nobody left to enjoy it. We must act now! You mean take out King Arthur? What about the immortal thing? Beyond this misty lake sleeps a sacred sword. With that sword... Yeah, yeah, I'll go get it. Be back in a flash! Wait, Sonic! Good luck. This must be it! Are you ready? Ready for what? If you remove that sword and defeat King Arthur with it, you shall forever be the worst of knights, slayer of kings. Guess I can't be the hero every time. <laughs> the Sacred Sword. It goes by the name Caliburn. That's kind of sorry looking. Fool! <laughs> you are the chosen one. You are but a squire. Oh yeah? Says you. The sword has a mind of its own. It selects its bear. Yeah, well it's got a pretty smart mouth on it for a sword. <laughs> the impertinent one is you, Knave. Brace yourself, for I shall train you until you are worthy. All right, Professor. Work your magic. This could go on forever. You sure you're a sacred sword? It is you, sir, who lacks the proper fighting Ha! <laughs> a fool of a knight. Not even worth slaying. You see? He thinks so, too. Well, it's your fault. You're a sad excuse for a teacher. <laughs> for as long as he bears that scabbard, we may never be able to defeat King Arthur. So what are we gonna do? We must ask the scabbard's former owner how to hinder its power. And who would that be? Nemu, the Lady of the Lake, the one I mentioned earlier. What are we waiting for? Let's go pay her a little visit. I fear it may not be as simple as that. What do you mean? You shall see for yourself. Onward, my young knave. Stop calling me knave! I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Very well then, I shall call you Knave the Hedgehog. Whatever, you oversized letter opener. Hmm. I suppose something must be done about this. What are you talking about? My edge has grown blunt. Being in that rock for so long has taken its toll. Ha! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? That's because a gentleman shouldn't have such an edge. Gentleman? Who are you calling gentleman? Seek out the blacksmith in the castle town. I must be presentable when we meet the Lady of the Lake. What are you gonna do, Merlina? 
Merlina? Hello? Why do flowers bloom, knowing they are destined to wither? Huh? Their time of beauty is so short-lived. Forgive me, Sonic. But I would be recognized in town. I shall remain behind in hiding. Alright, then I guess it's so long for now. Yes, may your journey be safe. Hey, Tails! No, it can't be. This is the smithy, right? It sure is. Welcome, Sir Knight. He is no knight. At least not yet. Says you. What a magnificent sword! I've never seen one that talks before. Oh, it talks all right. I know a fine blade when I see it. I am a blacksmith after all. Great! Think you could sharpen this dull piece of rust? Fool, it is you who is dull. Of course I could. Now, what's the sword's name? Caliburn. I heard that name before. Sorry, but could you speed it up a bit? We're kind of in a hurry. Sure, leave it to me. I have found you, Apprentice Knight, enemy of my king. Who the heck are you? Shadow? I am Lancelot, Knight of the Round Table. I challenge you to a duel. Some things never change. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, nothing. It's just that he looks like trouble. What shall it be? Will you abandon your sword and flee? Sounds good to me! Fool! A knight never flees a foe. May I have your name, Apprentice Knight? He is named the Hedgehog, and he accepts your challenge. Hey, wait just a second here! Very well then. Brace yourself, Knave the Hedgehog. Wow! So he was one of the Knights of the Round Table? The mightiest of all, and the closest to King Arthur. It was mere luck that enabled you to defeat him. If you say so. But why did you not deal him the final blow? Huh? Such sympathy is an insult to a knight. Well, what's the big deal? Besides, I got this, didn't I? That is Arundite, one of the sacred swords of this land. Take good care of it. No problem. We're here. I've been waiting for you, knight from another world. Whoa! Fool, where are you going? But that's... You are being rude to the Lady of the Lake. Bow your head! I think I know why you're here. It's about Excalibur, isn't it? Yeah, that's right! You don't waste any time, Lady. Show some respect. I'll tell you how to hinder the scabbard's power of immortality. I'm the one who gave it to him, so it's kind of my fault, see? But still... Still what? Whoever defeats King Arthur and takes his scabbard might end up turning out the same way, right? I see. So, I have three tests for you. Would you like to hear them? Sure, fire away! First, free the innocents from King Arthur's dungeon. Second, offer compassion to those in need. Third, defeat King Arthur's Knights of the Underworld. You have three days. Good luck! I get it. She's only going to tell the secret to a true knight. Are you up to the task? This will not be easy. Ha! I'm the world's fastest hedgehog. Check it out! You'll be calling me sir before you know it. 
It's close, but it seems you somehow made it. Too easy. Piece of cake. Do not let it go to your head, fool. What's wrong? What's the matter? Are you lost or something? <laughs> a great big dragon attacked my village. A dragon? It took my mommy and my daddy and everybody away. <laughs> you know where the dragon is, kid? It's in the big cave at the bottom of that mountain. All right. I'm on it. Wait, don't tell me you're going off to slay a dragon now. Yes, we are. What of the ladies' tests? You will never make it in time. Yeah, maybe, but I play by my own rules. Remember that. You fool. Hang in there, kiddo. I'll get your folks back. I don't suppose you're going to let me by. Ha! You look just like this knucklehead I know. Ho! You dare mock Sir Gawain, Knight of the Round Table? An act most unwise, my friend. Wait, wait! I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. I was heading to a cave to save some people from a dragon. Ah! You cannot fool me with your lies. No doubt you're after the dragon's treasure. Oh, man. You sound just like that knucklehead, too. You have defied King Arthur. This place shall be your grave. To lose to a mere apprentice. I have been disgraced. Only death can remove this stain upon my honor. Give me a break! What's up with all this drama? Silence! Silence, I say! A knight who fails their king is unfit to live. Isn't there more to being a knight than just serving a king? Huh? I'm out of here. People to save, you know. The appointed time has passed. Yeah, don't remind me. You've been waiting here the whole time? Sorry about that. Good news, everyone's safe. Thank you. And sorry about tricking you. Huh? You have shown courage, strength, and compassion. Huh? Then... I shall show you how to blunt the power of Excalibur. Cause you're a true knight. Yes! I see. So I have to defeat the Knights of the Round Table and collect the sacred swords? Yes. The three sacred swords combined with your Caliburn should dispel the power of immortality that protects him. Sounds like a walk in the park. We'll see about that. Hey, come on! Isn't it about time you gave me a little credit? The remaining knight, Percival, is the Knight of the Grail. She's as strong as she is noble. One mistake could be your last. Don't worry! I've got one of the great sacred swords. Uh, uh, of course. It's about time you figured that out. I'm gonna make this look easy. She won't know what hit her. I've gotten pretty used to you, too. That is exactly what I told you not to do. Fare thee well, brave knight. Chosen one of Caliburn. I am Percival, knight of the round table, servant of King Arthur. State your name and your master, sir. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. I have no master. Except the wind that blows free. Very well, Sonic, Knight of the Wind. Prepare for battle. Bring it on. 
Well done, Sir Sonic. Percival! Yikes! Whew! That was close! Why? Why did you... I guess you could say that Wim is my other master. Save the hugs and kisses for later. What? You jealous or something? For a knave such as you? Ridiculous. Enough of that knave stuff already. Hmm. Actually... Yes? Sonic the Hedgehog, you have mastered the code of chivalry from this day forth. You shall be Sir Sonic, Knight of the Wind. <laughs> Merlina! I saw all that transpired in my reflecting pool. I have no words to thank you for all you have done. Yeah, but it's not over yet. Sir Sonic is right. We must still defeat King Arthur. The king is on an island known as Avalon. You have become a fine knight. Oh, cut it out. Anyway, I guess I'll go end this thing then. Good luck, Sir Sonic. I'll await you at Castle Camelot. Sonic the Hedgehog, Knight of the Wind. Let's settle this once and for all, King Arthur. It seems your impersonation of a knight has improved somewhat. I have you to thank for that. Then let us have another look at that unsightly swordsmanship. You're gonna be sorry you asked. This is it, old pal. Indeed. Give it everything you have. Only then will you prevail. Then bring it on, King Arthur! <laughs> I am immortal. You cannot defeat me. Now, Sonic, the three sacred swords! Got it! No! Yes! I did it! from the king. Have you any last words? Your king was nothing more than an illusion my grandfather conjured up. You'd better start explaining, Merlina. Merlina! You! How did you come by that scabbard? Where is the king? Wait. This was all he left after he disappeared in a puff of smoke. Just like one of the Knights of the Underworld. There was never any King Arthur. Huh? Well done. And thank you, Sonic. With this scabbard, I can erase my grandfather's greatest mistake. Make this king eternal.
Ravana. Sonic, get back! So, it was all part of Merlina's plot. It keeps spreading. It's only a matter of time before the kingdom is consumed. Ugh. The Knights of the Round Table! Must we simply stand and watch our kingdom's ruin? Gawain... What? Are you gonna give up just like that? Is that the best that chivalry of yours can do? How dare you! Listen, it's like I said before. Isn't there more to being a knight than serving a king? Sir Sonic is right! And there's still time if you act now! Use the sacred swords to form a barrier around the castle. For the kingdom and its people! I'm counting on you. Sir Sonic, what will you do? Once the barrier's up, I'll look for a chance to jump in. Surely you jest. Nah, it's just how I roll. Fare thee well. We too shall fulfill our appointed task. This must be a barrier stone. <gasps> this stone is but part of the ring that sealeth the Dark Hollow. Dark Hollow? What is Merlina up to now? Here it is! When the sacred sword pierces stone, so shall return the power. What of Excalibur, greatest of all sacred swords? The king wore its scabbard, but I never saw the sword itself. This must be it. Ha! Our fate is now in your hands, Sir Sonic. This must be it. Now, Sonic! Here goes! You. Just one question before we settle this. Why'd you do it? Weren't we trying to save this kingdom from the underworld? This kingdom will fail one way or another. Such is its fate. 
Huh? Do you know what is to become of this kingdom? Beats me. Lancelot and Gawain's rift shall doom the round table. Arthur is struck down by his son Mordred and departs for Avalon. This was to be our ideal world, but it will not last. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table will end in ruin. The King Arthur my grandfather Merlin created led to nothing but mistakes. But I can succeed with the power of the Scabbard, creating a kingdom that never ends. is a world that goes on forever. My soul at its ruin runs deeper than the depths of the underworld. Do you not understand? No, and I don't want to. Your efforts are futile. chivalry for me. I just gotta do what I've gotta do. That's all. sad, but that's why we gotta live life to the fullest in the time we have. At least, that's what I figure. Grandfather. Well done, Sir Simon. 
Thanks to you guys. You can say that again. To think King Arthur was but an illusion. The Knights of the Round Table must now disband. What foolishness is this? I'll say. Hmm? What are you saying then? Have you forgotten who I am? I am the Sacred Sword Caliburn. I am the one who decides who is worthy of the crown. So then, you? You, you are, are the, the one, one and true King, King Arthur? Arthur? Who, me? Huh? Hey, cut that out! So yeah, that's what happened. To think I was called in to be part of the tale of King Arthur. But I gotta tell you, it was no picnic. Aren't you forgetting something? What? All the action? All the excitement down to the wire? But man, who'd have thought I was the real King Arthur? <laughs> That's the lamest excuse ever! You just forgot about our date! No, no, it's true, I tell ya! Yikes! No, Amy, wait! 